Hey guys, this is Alejandro on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Gladys. How are you doing tonight, girls? Tonight. I'm doing fine, I guess. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> so you sound very, very, very excited. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. okay well i'm, I'm gonna say okay <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> very good so uh girls as you know every time we start a class i always ask you about the previous topic so what was yesterday's topic yesterday's topic was about the this word how the digital marketing has evolved okay that's the correct word. Has evolved. That's Has evolved. right. Okay. okay. Now, what can you tell me about the, that evolution? Well, the main evolution is that uh, you don't need uh, to have a lot of things. For example, mm -hmm. I need, uh, you don't need mm -hmm. a lot of money to, where's this word? To promote, yeah, to promote, your, to promote uh, your items, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what do you think is uh, it has been the difference between the nineties and nowadays as far as digital marketing? Well, I guess that the main difference is that now you can see all that publicity with your phone okay. Even if you don't want to to see that they just appear according uh, to the things you search for okay and that that brings a question guys do you think that uh, we are being spied on do you think that there's someone listening to our conversations yeah, spying on us <laughs> what do you think have you ever been talking about something like for example i i don't know i feel like eating a hamburger and then you are on on, on facebook scrolling down and you see an advertising about hamburgers no no not yet okay so you say no what do you think uh, gladys or eric are we being spied on well in my case i will believe in it I have no doubt. So For you me, say yes. We are at 20, yeah, 24 7. They are listening us and watching us. Watching us. Watching at us or uh, looking at us. Okay, so we have one one. We have um, Alison saying no and we have Eric saying yes. What do you think, Laris? I don't know too much about the topic um, maybe I think that maybe uh, people that they are interested in to uh, I mean a normal person for example like me I mean why will, will they been doing that right um, I don't know maybe a rich person person that is in politics or something like that I don't know okay so we have a third point of view we say no, we say yes, we say only two particular people. So this is a very interesting topic, but um, it's not going to be the main focus on the class. just wanted to know what you think. Now, yesterday we were talking about digital marketing strategies. What strategies do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, direct marketing. Okay. So that's one, direct marketing, correct? What else? Strategy and design. Strategy and design, that's right. And what is that about? Um, maybe when you design your web page uh, mm -hmm. and you add uh, uh, something like um, 
like price, attractive prices, mm -hmm. um, go um, location, and I don't know what. I don't know what more. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So, um, is there anything else that you might need to take into consideration about digital marketing? No. Do you, what, yeah, what is the, the, uh -huh. the public to its orientado, ah? Targeted. Uh, to the, to the people it's targeted. Uh -huh. to our targeted audience that's right oh targeted audience mm -hmm. that's right and one of the other ones why why do you think people go to super selectors instead of walmart even being more expensive because it is we kind of discussed that yesterday because um i think is that they have an, uh, an identity. Correct. It's because many people identify with Super Selectors being Salvadorian, even though we are paying more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, promotions don't count because they both have great promotions. You can mm -hmm. buy a uh, detergent. You have very nice promotions in, uh, in Walmart. And in Super Selectors, if you drink, then you have very good alcoholic beverages promotions. So they say, I don't know, people say. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and start with today's topic. And uh, let me share it with you. Okay, here it is. I will be able to. I will be able to. Discuss different job profiles required in digital marketing. Discuss different, Discuss job, different profiles job profiles required, required in digital marketing. Digital marketing. Digital marketing. Good. I need a volunteer to read that, please. Me, Morena. Go ahead, Morena. Thank you. Discuss different job profiles required in digital marketing. Nice. Pronounce it with me, please. Profiles. 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 The stress is in the O. Profiles. Then you go down. Profiles. Profiles. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one. How do you get started? How do you get, How do you get started? started? How do you get started? How do you get started? To become an e commerce specialist. To become, to become an e commerce, e -commerce specialist. What qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? What, what qualifications are required to be a digital marketing, marketing manager. manager? Great. So, guys, uh, these are the questions that we're going to start working with. And I wanted to try the following. How do you become an, um, how do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? What do you have to study? What do you have to do to achieve it? And what mm -hmm. qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? Now, you're going to be answering these two questions, and at the same time, I want you to compare. You're going to compare a digital marketing manager with another profession or occupation. Okay? Now, for example, um, I need that you need to study this to be a, a digital marketing manager, but if you would like to be this, you have to study this. And as far as the qualifications, for you to be a marketing manager, you have to be this, and the other one, you have to be this. So pretty much what I wanted to do is, you can compare what you think is needed for this um, profession, for this role, versus another one or the one you have. Are you following me? Yes. Yep, like for example, well, in order for you to become an e-commerce specialist, I think that you need to study programming, you need to study uh, publicity, be good in advertising, community manager, and to become a teacher, 
here is where you compare. I think that you need to study something about teaching, right? You need to be good in the in the topic or the subject that you are going to be teaching. If you teach math, you have to study a career related to math and then blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to please compare these two questions. Uh, we're gonna take about five minutes, then we're gonna go come back so we can review the profiles, okay? Let's go ahead and accept the invite. Right now, please, thank you. Here's the first one. Okay. Did you get the questions? Guys? Yes. Okay. And Alison, what did exactly the teacher said? I didn't get the, the whole idea. So he, he said that we have to make a comparison. Yeah. Between this digital tool, uh, marketing and another career. That's right. Okay. A comparison. A comparison. Mm -hmm. We have to choose the other career. To compare. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Engineer, architect, uh, lawyer, doctors? There are many of them. Yeah, I guess it's one that we know at least the basics. Um, let's say doctor. Selling on a reliable store, and for the pandemic, you have to close. You have to know how to turn it to an e-commerce, for example. So you have to know some basis about marketing. Okay, they yes, they had um, actually get another another strategy of marketing because they had to close. Uh, they are located mm -hmm. and it could be, I think. Mm, yeah, I think so. So you have to study about marketing, you have to, to study about um, website development. Development. What is development? Desarrollo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, um, because uh, as we were talking, uh, in meanwhile, the pandemic is, is active. Um, you have to, 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 You have to, to, uh, ¿cómo se dice recortar? Cut down. 
Uh -huh. okay. You have to cut down your 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 costs. Mm -hmm. You, you can say cut down expenses, like to reduce okay. your expenses. To reduce your expenses, like uh, you don't have if you if you learn how to develop a website, you won't need any more uh, some la another people who, who made it. You can do it by yourself. Okay. And uh, uh, yes, uh, in this case, I think um, uh, the market uh, just have to change for the pandemic and they, they make another strategy. Strategy. Um, a strategy for uh, for selling the, their products and their services too. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, uh, I don't know. Maybe they need to to send for for um. How do you say um? I don't know, in this case, is, is, is a domicilios, um, deliveries. They have to send the, 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 their products uh, for... Normally, they, this is called like shipping or delivery. Shipping or delivery, mm -hmm. whatever one I said. Yeah. Well, okay. generally, delivery is when you order like, like a pizza or something like that. It is very similar, though. I think that you could you could easily interchange it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank Shipping you. Shipping is envio. Like delivery is like entrega. Mm. Mm. Okay. Which is pretty much the same. It's just different point of view. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep it up, guys. Now, depends. How do you write? Do you write it? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce, but I don't remember how to vary. The analysis, I guess, is right. with a uh, white in the middle. Why, right? Why? Uh, and for the other career, we yeah, need to know is. about um, uh, human biology mm -hmm. and, and also human anatomy and well, I don't know what else. Uh, you need, you need to know about the teacher, how do I say pharmacos? You can say drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drugs, medicine. They, okay. They need to know also about drugs and medicines. Or about chemistry? Chemica. Yep, mm -hmm. also chemistry. chemistry. Mm -hmm. Chemistry with C C H right? Yes. No? What else? to be uh, well in in the qualities, I guess someone who studied in order to become a doctor, it hasn't be afraid of uh, dead people. It's, it's not part of the subject. Yeah, also, uh, these people need to like to read a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, constantly. are you in question? Sorry to interrupt. Are you still in number one or you moved to number two? No, number one. Okay. Still number one. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to move to number two so we can, so we can wrap it up. We're going to go back in four minutes. All right. So it, it, like a person who designed exactly. the, 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 the website. The website. And, exactly. Yeah. And if you know how to do it, you can reduce that cost. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the two, the two themes, the two things that we have 
uh, decided with Morena for the first question and for the second one. What qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? What do you think? Qualifications, maybe have a good creativity. Uh -huh. um, be a social media um, expert. Expert. And you can be an expert in user and use a lot of platforms. So you can put in the, your web page a new new things that attack other people. Uh -huh, okay. Also, I think that you can have a, a college degree about marketing and publicity. Oh, as well. Yeah, be like a, yeah. What do you think, Daniel? Okay, uh, I think uh, this person must must know or the reconocer a lot of uh, designing of web 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 page and marketing and programmation maybe programming programming <clears throat> maybe yes uh, so so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. programming is with two m's yes programming, programming yes. programmer mm -hmm. yeah it is with two m's Programmer. Programmer. And um, okay, we're gonna go back in one minute, guys. You finished? Almost. Okay. 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 So we were saying about creativity, social media expert, college degree on marketing, publicity, or programming. Yeah. And, um, I don't know if we can use like be very um, responsible <laughs> to check the web page because sometimes maybe your web page is great but the people doesn't get any answers to the questions because the people never check it, check the web the web page i don't know mm. maybe have time <laughs> yeah. to check the, i don't know if that uh, mm -hmm. maybe be aware of the web page that's i think that that's the key be aware of the way the of the web page Okay, so now you go, you're done. We're going to. <clears throat> now you're done, mm -hmm. guys. We're going to go back to the previous one, to, to the main group. All right? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So uh, little by little, we are coming back, and uh, I'm going to be choosing a volunteer in order for me to participate. Give me a second here. Honey, give me a color. Black, okay, so my girl saying black. Okay, thank you, Roxana. <laughs> well, she's kind of busy. <clears throat> okay, so, okay. Then, Roxana? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Um, question number one, how do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? Your simple analysis. What do you think it is? Me? Yes. <laughs> Can you repeat the question, please? No worries. How do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? Oh, okay. 
Uh, we were um, talking about to become a in a star it. Um, maybe you can hire a person to that is special in or have a, like a degree for to sign a web page if okay. you don't know about it but if you know about it you can uh, save money <laughs> if if you are an expert but if you are not an expert maybe you need a specialist because sometimes the web page um, can be like a lot of people is coming on the page but if you don't answer to the people or give the answer they need they must go to other place somewhere else correct mm -hmm. so, they must go somewhere else mm -hmm. all right do you guys agree on, uh, with uh, Roxana? yes yeah quite yes, simple right okay so i need a volunteer uh, or no Roxana, give me a color please yellow Morenita, Morenita. So, Morenita. Thank you, Roxana. <laughs> oh, sorry, Morena. <laughs> okay. But you bright. <laughs> yes, but we, sorry. we were talking about the same topic. Yeah. All right. So, with the second question, what qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? What do you think? Maybe um, um, a designer um and uh, a web a web page designer huh? um i think um let me see um maybe it could be um um an engineer in uh, a system engineer okay uh all right, so no, I like in it. Creative, I like it. In creative, in a creative, in a creative, creative, creative Creative person. Created person. That's right. That that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you very much. You see, you can do it. Um, so, what else do you think, guys? Uh, moving from the point that Morena is mentioning, that you got to be creative, perhaps a system engineer. What else do you think a digital marketing manager needs to have? from what you discussed over the minutes example in our case in my group we discussed that Alison was saying was saying something about this that every person we have to be good with communication also with social media marketing and uh, be good in developing digital marketing strategies and to put in development okay all right. Do you guys agree on Eric? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, good. So what else do you think, guys, that are the qualifi qualifications? Uh, give me a few more, please. So we know that it's got to be creative, got to know how to create websites. What else? Uh, have a good skills uh, with communication. Good communication and skills. Good, uh -huh. And good writing skills. That's right. What do you think of a company that has something misspelled on their social medias? Terrible. Yeah, I mean, we can have very bad writing, but we don't trust if a company has bad writing too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, and maybe because you're going to give this, I don't know, this, been to another people and you know that a lot of people is going to read it. Mm -hmm. So you have to check it like twice or I don't know how many times do you need, but you have to check it that is correct. Okay. And Great. and also if if he is going to be a manager, he has to be uh, he has to be good analyzing uh, data. Mm -hmm. Okay, analyzing data, that's a very good point. 
And so, what about dealing with people? Do you uh, think yes. that, that they need problem solving skills? Yeah. Yes. And polite. <laughs> and being polite, that's right. Definitely. Okay. So guys, that brings me to my following question. I asked you to compare it with some other profession or occupation. So with a simple yes, no, and then why, do you think that you could be a digital marketing manager? In my case, that's a, that's a total no. No. Why? Because no. I am good at problem solving. I have people skills. Um, <laughs> But I don't know how to how to create websites. I don't, I don't have imagination. So what about you? Which one of you think that you can uh, be a digital marketing manager? Nobody. No, I don't think. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So let me ask you something, guys. We're going to go, like I said, I'm trying to always with the topic. Remember, I cannot deviate from the topic, but always talking about something similar. What is your profile? In my case, I never thought I was going to be, I was going to become a teacher. Never, ever in my life. I thought I was going to be, I don't know something else, perhaps I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was a kid because I love animals. And here I am. I'm a teacher, I have uh, good English skills, spoken, written, you know, grammar. I'm good at problem solving. Um, I'm good at speaking in public, you know. I have people skills. So, have you found what you're good at? <laughs> Yes, no, maybe what? Come on, talk to me. Well, in my case, I guess I'm good in a few things. For example, I'm good in reading because I, I enjoy to read, but I have no skill with uh, you know, in order to be a web designer, because I don't know much about this. Uh, and also, I don't know almost nothing about digital strategies, or marketing strategies. So I like to speak in public. And, uh, and I love to be with uh, people. Okay. So what, what profile or what career do you think that it, it fits your qualifications? Maybe since I were a kid, I, I wish to be a, become a lawyer. That was one of my options. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember, guys, I'm not asking if you are developing it. If you are, then congratulations. But I'm asking what do you think you would be good at? Because you can have a job, but you might not feel that that's, I mean, you can work for a company for 30 years and you might feel that that is not for you right mm -hmm. so i wanted to mm -hmm, i hear something mm -hmm, come on the thupo okay so um, <laughs> i wanted to kind of talk about it like what do you think that you would be based on your qualifications i would be a veterinarian perhaps or uh i don't know a pilot perhaps a rally pilot or anything related to racing cars, motorcycles, or anything with an engine or speed. So we're going to talk a, a little bit about this. Uh, Dream, what do you think that your qualifications are made for? Okay. Thinking about it. Remember, based on your qualifications, what do you think it would be your best profile? Su mejor perfil, dependiendo de sus capacidades, sus cualificaciones. Clear? Yeah. yeah. All right. Dream a little bit, guys. Go ahead and... Uh, uh, oh, give me a second. Give me a second. I need to... Give me a second. I got to close this because I got more people than before. 
Give me a sec. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna create more people. All right, now this is the moment of the truth. See you back in 10, guys. Is there guess. somebody else? Mm, no, Maybe. I think no. I don't think so. Yes, yeah, it's groups of three. It's three of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember to what? ask follow up questions. Okay. So, who starts? In your case, Alison, about your uh, qualification, what do you think you, you were good for? Or what are you are good for? Well, I'm good at reading. What do you like to do? Do you like to read? Yeah, I like to read. I'm not afraid of talking in public, but I can do it. Um, where else? I have good communication skills with the people. It's easy to me to make friends and make me make myself comprehensible for the people. Okay. And what about you guys? But, and then according to this one, yep. what do you think you are good for? Mm. So in which, in which field do you guess you could you be good at? By the way, sorry to interrupt. You can make yourself understood. Oh. Uh -huh. You can make yourself understood. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Me puedo dar a entender o que me entienden. Okay. Understood. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. It's, it's easy to me to talk with people, but I cannot see cannot see me as a teacher, for example. I don't, I don't have that patience. <laughs> so that's for sure not a thing I wanted to do. Maybe something related to medicine to be one thing for me. If this business can be a good business or that. So I mean, like, I think that right now I'm doing unexpectedly what I want to do. And what that kind of material you use for your uh, bracelet, uh, Gladys? Uh, they are um, uh, ilo, ilo, I don't know how to say, sir. Thread, say I think. Thread, uh -huh. thread is thread. ilo, but thread. it depends on the material. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, of nylon and uh, the dijes, I don't know how to say dijes. Uh, I don't know. Oh, give me a second, I got yeah. this, I got this. I'll come up Let with it. Let me see before. It's like a metal. Yeah, she's having. Gladys, you're having uh, internet connection issues. Are you connected to the wire or you are on your phone? Hello? Uh, like, no, I don't have, it's made of, I'm on my phone and I, I've been trying to fix it, but. Uh, <laughs> okay, no yes. worries. Sorry. All right. No, don't, don't, don't apologize. What I would recommend you to do is to get as close as the modem as possible. So, you know, so you have a, a good connection. But okay. anyways, um, so. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> okay. uh, it's made of nylon and, and metal, you know, the, the bracelets. 
Okay. Ah. Okay. I'm, I'm but all this uh, all, all this information what we are learning in unit two and three, it's going to help you to create the strategies for your business. Yes, yes, uh, I'm learning like really a lot and I actually was trying to learn about uh, marketing like uh, uh, two weeks ago. So I really like nice. this topic. Nice, nice. excellent. Oh, okay. by the way, I'm sorry to interrupt. It is medallion. How do you say? Medallion. Oh, medallion. medallion. Mm -hmm. What I did because I, I didn't really remember this. So guys, whenever you want to know vocabulary about something, what I did was Googling jewelry, joyería, jewelry vocabulary. And most of the times mm -hmm. in the images, you have a lot of things. So be curious. Whenever you want to know something in English, Google is a very nice uh, place where you can find vocabulary. Nice. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Keep it up, guys. Let me check another group. I'll be back soon. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, what about you, Karen? Uh, what do you mm, think? Maybe that... I am perfectionist. I don't know how do you say that. <laughs> perfectionist. <laughs> I yes, I try to to, <clears throat> to do the the old perfect. I don't know. I hear I hear uh, on the bright side. It's bright side. Bright side. Oh, the bright side. side. Yes, and okay. sorry, I don't know why the yes, is you low. were gone. <laughs> yes, I don't know. And Morena, uh, what do you think you can do with all that skills? What is your profile? <laughs> uh, actually, I I I started I studied marketing and publicity, but I am not I'm not working uh, in that in that career. What is your work? Uh, actually, I I work. I'm working in the Duy centers, oh, it's but in the administration area, it's different. And what? How I I forget how I asked Roxana, but why was your no? Was yes? Why was your dream work when you were a child? I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember? I don't remember, actually. I, I think maybe it could be um, a doctor, I think. It's, diff it's really different. But thoughts are different. <laughs> yes. But it's Good job, different. girls. Keep it up. And then, and después, uh, you can learn to to read uh, partituras, partituras. This is the language, sure. the language of the music. Yeah, it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah, this is the language of the music, uh, partituras. It's a musical uh, score. Musical scores. Musical score. Ah, okay, partituras, musical scores. That's what I'm getting from the internet because <laughs> I'm not a musician. Ah. I always wanted to be one, but. <laughs> so, good. Okay, okay. Yeah. But Daniel would like to be a musician. Nice. He can play the piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Partitura yeah. Musical Musical Score. Musical Musical oh. score. Uh -huh. score. Or just a score. My guitar score, my piano score, my drums score. Okay, that's right. This is, this is our dreams. No cumplido, o sea, que no. These are no nos dedicamos solo a eso. Our dreams that didn't come through, come true. That didn't come true. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. Didn't come true. Don't, no. don't, don't, okay, don't true. That's, That's right. In my case, I'm, in my case, I'm like in the way to. Um, in the way of. In the way of. Uh huh. Um, become my dream too. True, will be of making my dreams come oh. true. Making my dreams come true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Thank you, sir. That's great. Were you able to finish everything? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Did, Whatever. Did, did, all, did the three of you participate? Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All righty. So let's go to the main room, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. All right, so we're coming back little by little. And we're gonna be sharing our answers in about 10 seconds when everybody comes back. Okay guys, so I think we are all back. I really hope that you all have been able to participate and talk about your most suitable career or occupation based on your um, skills and, and profile. I need a volunteer. Okay, I'm gonna start. Well, based on the... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I have, you have, sometimes you got to lead by the example when people is not doing it. Um, based on my qualifications, guys, I think that I would be a great lawyer. I would be a great lawyer because, you know, I, I'm, I can speak in public, you know, I can offer good rebuttals, etc. I wouldn't like to be a lawyer because if there's a lawyer here, my apologies, this is my own personal opinion. Uh, again, um, it's not meant to offend anybody or create, you know, uh, something bad. I wouldn't like to be a lawyer because I think that sometimes it's not about you. Sometimes it's about money and other interests, you know, under the table. So I wouldn't like to be a part of it. Simple as that. Now, what about you? And, and don't pay attention to, to my opinion. Mm-hmm. Based on your qualifications, what do you think is the best job for you? Well, I'm starting to do one. <laughs> um, <ahead>. Always. <laughs> um, you, but, <laughs> no, I bored everybody, but anyway. When I, when my girls, Morena and Roxana, we were, to, we were talking about that. And when I was a child, I don't want to copy you, but I want, I went, I wanted, I, I wanted to be a vet. Uh -huh, a vet. And, but uh, in the country, it does, it, it, it wasn't exist and was really expensive. It didn't exist. Yes. I, I, how do you say, I really old <laughs> but um then i was start to to study in the university or oh, the college um uh contaduría i don't i forget how do you say contaduría accounting accounting, accounting. Uh, i hate uh the administration uh subject <laughs> because it's nothing to be with me and <laughs> And then um, I I was talk I was think about my skills, and I I think that I love the mechanical things, all the tools, every kind of tools I love, and I love uh, uh, dirt of uh, my hands, and oh, I start to I get, love getting dirty, getting getting dirty. Oh, this sounds like literally. Okay, no, no, getting no, dirty. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, getting dirty during my events, and I was I was a start to study a technician, and oh. because I like talk <laughs> and I like uh, be with the people, and I love getting my hands dirty. Okay, and I love to be with the people, and I can hear everybody. Uh, uh, I was a start to study with Isa Ford. I the, started studying. I started, I, I started with the, with Insafor and I start to be an instructor. Nice. Yes. Nice. What kind of instructor? Uh, uh every every subject that is uh, um related to is, related to some com 
computer and informatic. I don't know, how do you say? AutoCAD, uh, Microsoft Office, Photoshop. Ah, and, okay, yes. we'll, we'll talk very soon. <laughs> we'll talk, keep my number. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Great. If um, I can help you, I'm here. <laughs> thank you very much. So, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, Sara, thank you for always being the first volunteer, the one jumping to the pool. <laughs> Now I need one more person, guys. I mean, I need to keep this fluent. Everybody participating. If you practice, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you learn. That's it. If you don't practice, then you don't move forward. Okay, good. Volunteer. Yeah, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. Well, just want to. I want to say some, a few more things about the, the thing that I said before. Uh -huh. uh, according to my skills, I like to read and I guess I'm good with the communication and I'm also I like to discuss things with people and maybe some people could think that I'm a, a introvert but sometimes I like shy be a, yeah like shy maybe but sometimes I could be like uh, outgoing and uh -huh. maybe some people can get a surprise and according to what what you said for example one of many, many, uh, a lot of people say that lawyers can do business under the table, but I guess we can do business under the table in every in every place that you can work. That it depends. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's uh, why I guess I'm could be a good lawyer also. Okay. All right. Great, Eric. Um, integrity. That's very important. Yes. Any job. Yes. Right. Okay, so um, I know that, that my opinion is a little controversial, guys, because there's integrity and then there's El Salvador, so, <laughs> all right? So uh, my apologies about, on my personal opinion. So anybody else? Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you, Sara. Come on, let's rock it, let's rush it. Okay, me, Daniel, teacher. Go ahead, sir. Okay, in my case, I studied public accountant. Uh, Accounting? As public accounting, uh -huh. okay, and master degrees, uh, uh, finance, financial management. Uh, but I love to play the piano. This is my my passion. This my passion. I, my passion. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes. I played the piano uh, eighteen years ago. Ago, uh, I play in my church. Uh, huh? uh, if I get some benefits for that, I work uh, with uh, with play the piano. Pero en El Salvador no se da la verdad. <laughs> oh yeah, so you cannot you cannot uh, make a living out of it. Okay, okay, but this is so beautiful. The music is so beautiful, and. And in my case, it's a piano and JC play guitar. Plays? Play guitar. The guitar. Okay. You see, we have a lot of secret, a lot of hidden things. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Um, mm -hmm. I want to make a, a special comment about you because at the beginning you were using a lot of Spanish. You were not confident enough. And look at you, speaking in front of everybody only in English. So nice improvement, buddy. Good job. Okay. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Great. Um, so one more before I take attendance, guys. One or two more, real quick. I want to get to know you. Karen. Go ahead, Karen, then Celia, and then I think Roxana wanted to participate. I don't know if it was my... No? Okay, okay. so then Roxana. So Karen, Celia, and Roxana, go for it. Okay, according to my qualifications, uh -huh. uh, I am working in human resources. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, I graduated from business administration, but my first job was in human resources. And since the first day in that area, I I love that. I, that. I loved it. That's it. I love it. I love it. it. So I, I love manage the recruitment and selection process. Nice. I love develop the human resources strategies and I enjoy dealing with people. 
you know, help them to solve their problem between managers and operators. So I, I really enjoy my, my, my job. Nice. You sounded very passionate, Karen. Same yeah. as Daniel talking about the piano. All right. Great. Thank you very much for that. Um, here, so remember, when you want to say, I love it, and you link it, I love it. Love it. Okay, I love mm -hmm. it. And also, guys, uh, most of the times, there are some verbs, like uh, one that Karen uh, mentioned, which is enjoy. Enjoy is always followed by ing. Like, I enjoy traveling, I enjoy teaching, I enjoy sleeping. I enjoy eating, etc. So everything, if it's an action, it's an ing. All right, great. Um, Celia, Rocket, you got like a minute and some seconds. Okay. Um, in my case, according to my um, quality, mm -hmm. um, I really love drawing, painting. Painting. Um, uh -huh. I really love making handicraft uh, decorations and designs. And when I was a child, I, I always wanted to be a graphic design. Designer. Uh, designer. Uh -huh. uh, but I um, pay attention to my parents' advice. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I started I study in the university uh, English teaching. Don't ask me why. And if I can give you an advice, study what you want to study not what anybody else wants <laughs> and but now i can say that um i i love english i really love english um i'm working uh, on it because i'm working on a call center but i mean it's so stressful it's not like my dream job and since last year i started to study a course in graphic design and digital marketing so I can say that I'm going to be a, a designer. <laughs> nice. Excellent, Celia. Excellent. And uh, that's, that's the way to go. I mean, sometimes you have time, sometimes you don't. It's up to you if you take advantage of it and how you do it. If you ever decide on teaching, look for me. All right? Uh, <laughs> no? Okay. No. <laughs> then never mind. Then never mind. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe like the last option. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll, I'll keep that in, into consideration. <laughs> it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Um, okay, guys, um, sorry. Passion <laughs> sorry to go to break out the mood. Let me go ahead and take attendance real quick. Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera? No. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón? No. Okay. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba? Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. See you. Gladys, Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. I see you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. There you are. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. See you too. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. <laughs> right on time, girl. David Orlando Nerio. Me sacó, dije. Me sacó. No, no dije nada extra, vaya. No worries, no worries. No, David no. Orlando. I'm a, a good girl. Uh -huh. I don't have uh -huh. words. No worries, Sorry. no worries. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Uh, she said that she's going to join later because the classes on the university. Okay. Good. Um, por motivos de auditoría en Sefor, varios estudiantes se manifestaron que iban a estar tarde por motivos de trabajo y estudio. Espero que se puedan conectar. Igual acuérdense que tomamos attendance también a las 9.45. Espero que puedan estar acá. Roxana Domitila Ríos de Quiñones. Here present. See you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. See you too. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Not present. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Not here. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. 
Present. I see you. Celia Carmina Pineda Avalos. Present. See you too. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. See you, girl. And last but not least, and on time, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Okay, there Morena. you go. Morena, no la mencioné. No. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, the, my mistake. Thank you for letting me know. I, I actually jumped you. My apologies and thank you for letting me know. All right, guys, Don't so worry. Worry. we're going to be working a little bit on this. Like I said, let's try to com combine the topics that we have to cover with life, right? So let me share something real quick. And this is what we're going to do, guys. Here, we're going to work with vocabulary. Say with me, please. Building vocabulary. Building, Building vocabulary. vocabulary. Wow. Label the descriptions with the correct name of the job. Label the descriptions with the correct name of the job. Data analyst. Data analyst. Data analyst. Data analyst. Content manager. Content manager. Web designer. Web designer. Chief general officer. Chief general officer. You can say digital or digital, that's really up to you. The T is very, you know, it changes a lot. Very good. Web manager. Web, Web manager. manager. Community manager. Community, Community manager. manager. Good. So let's go ahead and work with the pronunciation right here, guys. You're going to link the first one, any, an individual. An individual. Who builds grows and manages online communities. Go. Builds, grows, and manages online communities. Good. Which one do you think it is? From the options. Content. Hello. Mm. A web designer. Community <laughs> manager. Community manager. Community manager. manager. Okay, so we have web designer and community yes. manager. So we're going to have all of them so we can compare right after. Read with me, please. This job is mainly related. This job is mainly related to the styling and layout on pages with content, including text and images. 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 All right, great. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and read it complete, please. This job is mainly related to the styling and layout of pages with content, including text and images. Go, please. All right, what do you think it is? I think web designer. So, web designer. Web designer. <sighs> okay, we're going to try to keep it, you know, here. Web designer. Next one. This person collects, processes, and performs statistical analysis of data. This person collects, processes, and performs statistical analysis from data. What do you think it is? Data analysis. Data analysis. Okay, next one. Someone who supervises, remember that pronunciation, supervises. Supervises. Someone who supervises. supervises. A little bit of vibration. Now, cuando las palabras en singular o en verbo normal terminan en S o este sonido, la, tss, la pronunciación va a ser una pequeña, tss, una pequeña vibración. So, supervise, termina en S, supervises with vibration. Go ahead, please. Supervises. 
Supervisor. So everything together. Someone who supervises the content presented and on websites and blogs. Someone who supervises, who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs. And blogs. Mm -hmm. What do you think this it is? is a content, content manager. manager. Okay. Next one. Again, you link it. An individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital ones. An individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital, digital ones. How do you say negocio? <clears throat> business. Business. Negocios. Business. 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 Exactly, with a little bit of vibration because the first word finishes in S. Correct. So, what is the, the answer here? Mm. It could be chief digital okay. officer. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Chief yeah. digital my, officer. My officer. Okay, uh -huh. let's keep it there. We're going to discuss them in a minute. And the last one a person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Web manager. Web manager. Web manager. Web manager. Okay. Uh, you, you just missed the pronunciation, though. So, okay. let's do it. Developing, managing, developing, developing, managing, maintaining websites. Websites. So, what is the answer for this? Web, web, manager. web manager. All right. So let's go ahead and double check it, guys, and tell me if there's any type of thing that you would change. Is it all correct? Something that you would change? The first one? Online communities. Uh -huh. The first one is community manager. Uh -huh. I agree. So for you as community manager, what is the order? Community manager? <coughs> Web designer, web designer uh -huh. data, data analyst, data analyst, content, analyst content, content manager, manager chief, chief, chief digital, digital officer, officer, and web manager. web manager. You got it. So, 100 out of 100. So, guys, even though you are, some of you, or most of you are not familiar with these topics, then you got it right. So, why? <laughs> well, um, give me a second. Let me go ahead and change this one. So, which is number one, guys? Community manager. 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 All right. Now, why? What is? What are the keywords that led you to this decision? In the first one. Communities. Communities. And communities. communities. Managers. Managers. Okay, all right, that's right. You got your own definition. And what about the second one? Styling, Styling and layout. With content, layout. with text, with image, images. Okay, with content. <clears throat> all right, next one. Mm, process performance and analysis. 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 Analyze and data. Analysis data. Analysis. So all of these led you to this one. The last one, well, not the last one, number four. Content. Website. Content. Supervisors. Supervisors. Content. Content. Website. And content. Content, supervisors, and websites. Okay. Number five. Converting. Digital. Digital. Converting traditional businesses Converting. to digital ones. Yeah, so the whole thing. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> How do you say se explica a sí mismo? It explain itself? Yes, but there's one word for that. Self-explanatory. Okay. Self it is self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. <clears throat> so if you wanna if you don't wanna say that's obvious. So you can increase your vocabulary, self-explanatory. All like together? Sounds. Yeah, all together, self-explanatory. Self mm -hmm. 
there's always room for learning, guys. No matter what the topic is, you're always going to learn something new. And the last one. The best manager when he was Person. left. Managing and maintaining, <laughs> websites. maintaining websites. It was the only one left. That's a good point. That's a very good point. All right, guys. So, um, uh, which one do you think that is the most difficult of this one? For me, all of them. I agree. I, the I agree. first one. I won't, be, I won't be able to do anything, if you ask me. Me neither. <laughs> I guess the most difficult one is the data analyst. I case. agree. Why? Agree. You need to understand what you are looking for, I guess, for what I understand. And okay. also, you have to be very, very carefully about the analysis that, that you made about the data that you have and don't make any mistake about that. And uh -huh. you don't have to make any mistake. Let me ask you something, guys. Um, well, some of you might, but if I give you a blood test, a blood analysis, would you be able to tell me what it, what what is it with it? Supposedly, I am. Oh, I okay. see that in in one in one class at the university, but I don't remember. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> exactly. I mean, you can have uh, some uh, some results of a test, and you might not understand a damn thing. Now, what about what can you tell me about a community manager? Because that's very famous right now. I guess that is the person that is managing, obviously, a page or a blog. Mm hmm. Okay. But it's not only like managing page or websites. They are like the face of, um, um, like the face of the company because they are in charge of different um, tasks, not only uh, manage, uh, they also like uh, handling with communications about the company. They are like, they promote or something like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They are responsible for making the company grow. Right? Now, yeah. I don't know if you know, guys, but InstaForb has actually many courses. Community Manager is one of them. Right? So um, I am looking for a. Let's continue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to talk to Okay, much. continue. Yeah, let's continue. Okay, so next one, web designer. In your words, <laughs> what are the duties of a web designer? Web designer. Uh huh. In your own words, you have to know the product or the the history of the enterprise and uh, try to try to put all the all that stuff together and make it uh, on a website. Okay. Do you think that is easy? No, it's not. Not really, no. no. You have to be no. very creative. You gotta be very you have, creative. You have to know to, to have a lot of creativity about this. That's right. Have you ever tried <laughs> building a website, guys? No. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I heard that yes right there. So, because I have, well, not myself, I have, you know, read about it and you have programs where you can just click and drag. There's a website called Wix, for example. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is free and supposedly intuitive. That means that you don't have to know. I mean, you just do it because it is obvious and you just follow what it is. Now, which one of you think that will be a good candidate as a web designer? Me for sure. No, I don't like none. Engineer, no. no, architect. Andrea, you're an architect uh, or an engineer? 
architect. Ah, okay. Can architects can architects work on, on web design? Mm -mm. This is I a... mean, we have like the creativity, but not like all the knowledge that uh, you're supposed to have to program to design a web. Ah, okay. That, that, like, yeah. that was an honest question because I, I wanted to know if, if it was related. Great. So we already talked about uh, data analyst, content manager. Which one of you think that will be able to develop that, that task? None of you either? Maybe no. I, because I like to supervise. <laughs> <laughs> and it says someone who supervises. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to supervise. She's, she's but... good supervising. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I see. Okay, guys, uh, do you think and this is a, another honest question? Have you ever had an issue with a bad superior, with a bad supervisor? Mm, no. 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 Yes. 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 Bad uh, we're not gonna tell your bosses. You know, this is. Not, ah. may, may not be in your current job. I'm talking about your life. So what do you think are the requirements of a supervisor, regardless the the, the area? People skills is the first problems. one. People skills. Product, uh, problem solving. Problem solving. Problem solving, mm -hmm. being objective. Mm. Be organi organized and planning. Organized. Organized. Uh huh. Planning. Planning. You yeah. need to be good at planning. Uh huh. And um, this happened to me, guys, back in the days, many, many years ago, because I'm not as young as you think I, I, I am. <laughs> I worked in a call center and uh -huh. uh, I was named the supervisor right. of another campaign. Not the one I was, but for another campaign. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's good or bad? What? I was, for example, in sales of uh, X product, and I was named a supervisor of customer service in a different product. That's bad. Why? Because you don't have, uh, maybe you don't have the idea about the other account is. That's right. You need to know what is the product. Exactly. That's if right. you are going to promote to, to a supervisor, you have to be promoted in your own area because it's that what you know. Okay. At least they're going to show you how to do it. Yeah, they give you the basics. Maybe they sign you another another skills that can help mm -hmm. okay all right just just wanted to know what you thought about it because i totally agree that if you're going to be promoted it has to be in your own area right it's so you can supervise and you know what you're doing all right guys um so let's go ahead and keep it here i guess that i already know the result of the other one and this is what we're going to do um part of the Part of the objectives of this class is pretty much for you to conduct a uh, job interview. Okay. Now you're going to conduct a job interview. We're going to be uh, divided in groups of three or four. One of you is going to be the recruiter and the other two or three people are going to be candidates. Okay. Obviously you, okay. I'm going to be a bad candidate because I'm not going to know what to do. All right, and I'm going to be the great candidate because I have started for this. I have experience. The other one, I'm just applying because my father is the owner, is the owner's boss, for example. So I wanted to good use... Good candidate. <laughs> a good candidate, right? So I wanted to use your you imagination. Have to hire. <laughs> the chosen one. <laughs> okay. So um, you're going to use your creativity for these guys and... Uh, all of this is your imagination, right? None of this is a real story. Okay. <laughs> so, 
you're going to decide. Go ahead and write them down, guys. Community manager, web designer, data analyst, content manager, chief digital officer. You're going to choose one, and that's what you're going to be interviewing. Okay? Any okay. questions? No. Okay. <laughs> Someone mentioned here that is working in human resources, Karen. Um, are you familiar with hiring processes? Yes. All right. Now, is it easy to find a candidate? No, it's not easy because you have to match the qualification of the job with the qualification of the person. That's right. So the profile has to match, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I was actually running a hiring process and believe me guys, out of <clears throat> more than a hundred people interviewed, there were just like three candidates that fit the profile and not a hundred percent. So it is not easy at all. <clears throat> so Karen, would you mind giving, because uh, some of us here might not have like a lot of knowledge on hiring processes. Would you mind giving us in one or two minutes, like a briefing of it? Like the type of questions of asking, the type of questions to ask, what are you looking uh, for? Body language, just quick tips. Uh, maybe some <clears throat> common questions in a job interview is uh, asking about uh, herself, uh, their weakness or a strange strengths uh, mm -hmm. a strange or for example why this person want to to leave uh, his actual job <laughs> current job uh -huh. uh, uh -huh, his current job but most important is uh, about the solid expectations uh -huh. okay so let me ask you something Karen well, and, and I think that we're going to match here. Ask me a question about my weakness. Uh, what? Could you please tell me what is your biggest your biggest weakness? I don't like to wake up early. No. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> is there a problem? Because the, we enter at 7 a.m. You have to wake up at least if you live in, for example, in Santa Ana and we are in American Park, you have to wake up at five o'clock. Is there a problem with this, uh, uh, teacher? <laughs> Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro. Oh, um, well, you see, the interview went to hell, right? But ask me the question again, Karen. Please. Sorry, what question? The same. Ask the question again. I'm gonna answer ah, differently. What what is what is your biggest uh, weakness? Well, to be honest with you, Karen, I'm not an early bird. I don't like to wake up early. However, what I do to solve that is that I try to organize my time so I can go to bed early, and that way I can wake up early to be on time at work. Mm. That completely changed the, the interview. Exactly. So the point is, guys, if you're going to say something negative, try to finish with something either that you are working to fix it or mention the person how you fix it. Right? So, Karen, that was a better answer. Am I right or am I, or am I wrong? Yeah, it's, it's a better. It's better. It may not be perfect. But it's better. So, guys, try to use all the, the, the topics like talk to me about yourself. What recommendation can you give? Uh, what other recommendation can you give, Karen? This is the last one, and I'm going to stop bothering you. Uh, to, be, to be on time. Mm -hmm. uh, to dress formal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And about the speaking, about the interview like we are going to have right now. What recommendation can you can you give to your classmates? Uh, about uh, the questions, uh, some of that I told you before. Uh huh. Uh, for example, 
tell me about yourself. What, what mm -hmm. do you want this job? What do you think about this company? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. What, how do you handle nervousness in a job interview? It's normal. At the beginning, you have to uh, quebrar el hielo. Break the ice. Uh -huh. At the beginning, you have to break the ice with that candidate because it's normal to be nervous in, mm -hmm. in a job interview. Okay. Now, what about body language? Do you uh, body language when interviewing face to face? It's important too to, to handle a good body language. Okay, so guys, uh, normally like good body language would be keep eye contact, you know, careful with how you move your hands, things that we cannot really appreciate here, but at least your face, they'll be like, you know, try to not be so serious, a little bit smiley, right? Don't be a clown in a job interview, unless the interviewer actually tries to be funny, then careful with that so thank you very much Karen for your advice you already guys know how to do uh, you're gonna be choosing one of those you're gonna be applying for a community manager web designer pretend you know what you're doing let's say that you are experts and you decide the type of candidate you're gonna be are you good at it you have no idea you just need a job because of the pandemic and they are the only ones who call <laughs> you right the most common. imagination so guys go ahead and start i'm going to split the class in um in groups one of you is going to be the interviewer and the other ones are going to be the ones uh interviewed so just web designer and community manager no 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 you choose you choose that's up to you totally okay mm -hmm. all right guys let's go ahead and accept it see you back at 9 45 i'm going to be visiting you from time to time have fun in the interview Break the ice, as mm -hmm. Karen is saying. cara de entrevistadora. <laughs> Why no, me? Experience. She works in a call center. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to interview. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, what we are going to take as an example. What job? Um, I would like to be to apply for a uh, Quiero ver por uh, para 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 that that uh, data analyst data analyst data yes. analyst yeah. sounds good <laughs> <laughs> okay um, remember try to practice all the time improvise and see how it goes practice on the go <laughs> okay teacher okay Celia Okay, Ernesto. Tu mejor es pregunta. I know you everything. Okay. Okay, Ernesto. Um, hello. I'm going to be your interview. So you are applying for uh, that analysis um, job, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Right. My name is Ernesto Castillo. I am 22 years old. I graduated from Don Bosco University two years ago as an aeronautical technician. And since that time, I have been looking for a work where I can apply or where I can put my knowledge about uh, compute, computers and data analysts. For example, I made uh, some teacher, how do you say, practicas or pasantías? Um, your your practice or an internship. The thing is that internship, it's like internado, right? Uh, but yeah, you can count it as a, an intern. Like when you go and they don't, yeah, that's the thing, intern, an internship. Right. Never mind, I got confused. 
intern. So I made an intern in a company when I was an assistant from a data analyst. I learned a lot from him and I would like to be part of this company. Okay, great. So we can say that you have a little bit of experience on the job, right? Yes, I have a little bit of experience. I uh, work with them for six months. Then from Friday, from Monday to Friday, and uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Um, if we are talking about your weakness, what will be your biggest weakness? Okay, my biggest weakness, maybe I am a little bit, uh, como se dice, huevón. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is lazy, but don't say that in a job interview. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless that is the role that you are playing right now, right? All right, yeah. It's because so sometimes I'm, I'm not, I'm not that proactive. Bah. Okay, that sounds, be sounds better. Sounds better. All right, keep it up. <laughs> Remember that you can play. You can be the lazy one if you want this interview to be bad. Then make it look bad. I mean, that's up to you. Have fun. Use your imagination. Continue. I like what you're doing. And sometimes I leave. Okay. Um, where do you see? Where do you see uh, the 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 ad, the position ad? Actually, I haven't seen it before. I I I come because my mother was bothering me that uh, I have to get a job. So, um, I'm here. She wants you out of the house now. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> I see. But uh, are you really interested in participating in, 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 in this process? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> nice, nice, I like uh, where this is going. Okay. Yeah. The question is going to be, how did you hear? How did you hear about this job opportunity? Ah, how do you hear? Did, in past. Okay, about this job, about this job opportunity. Correct. Okay, okay. thanks. Thanks. Uh, uh, Aldo, uh, mm -hmm. what did you study? Well, uh, for the high school or the college? From college. I went to Universidad Tecnológica. Okay. And uh, do you have a, a experience in this area? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Do you have experience? That's it. Do you have experience? Uh, do you have experience? So no, I don't. Uh, but I, 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 I guess I, I can learn. <laughs> Continue, guys. No, I'm going to. Or I you, can okay. learn in this moment. <laughs> Just le let me check YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> read, read. Read. Let's read. This one is what I want yes. <laughs> If you can watch, I can do it, okay? <laughs> but I can use the cell phone next to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, no. Yes, I was working like that one time. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, going, I'm going to to start. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I'm going I'm going to start like this. Ah, good 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 morning because anybody anybody going to go to a to an interview on night? <laughs> it's going to be a uh, the both and the, at the same time in the interview. No, or one just person. One. Yeah, oh, just okay. one. Okay, okay, and I'm going to say you, ah, good morning. To tell you, I have the, huh? say uh, versus tell. Write it down, say versus tell. Versus tell. Teacher, how do you say curriculum vitae? Resume. Resume, okay. Ah, good morning. I have your resume here. How oh. are you, Roxana? Hi, I'm glad to be here. Really? I can know that. I like your smile. Uh, 
I, uh, we are searching a person that could be a digital analyst, I guess. That was our... Yes, it is. <laughs> you are looking for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> because that man, many people and many, play, um, and many plazas, I don't know, how do you say plazas, teacher? <laughs> many uh, job, job opportunities. Uh -huh. Job opportunities, okay. We have many, many job opportunities. Oh, just, no solo esa, vaya. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Just one. Not just this I'm one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm kidding. Okay, let's let's do it. Um, I I can watch mm -hmm. that you have many experiences. Uh, how yeah. of marketing and publicity? Okay, that's nice, Morena. Um, do you work in house or outsource your projects? Well, in my mm -hmm. you, 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 no, no, no. you, Marcella, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in my case, I can. I, I like uh, more when I work in the outside because I can see people and I can like have the inspiration when I see new things. But it would be for me to work at home. Okay, that's nice, Marcella. What about you, Morena? <clears throat> Um, about me, I always uh, work at home. Uh, I make the the project and then offer you. Uh, if you like it, uh, you can get it. Okay, so in case you were uh, elected to to for designer design my my website what kind of research research will you do of my business Damn, that's a very targeted question <laughs> hey guys uh one tip that i can obviously um when you go to a job interview you have to rehearse you have to practice obviously you don't have to sound like a robot but you gotta know the type of questions that they can ask you so Morena, even though you know nothing about it, pretend that you are the expert. Okay, but you gotta sound oh. confident, even though you're no, just. No, but I am up. the. Morena is the, the bad, bad profile. Uh, yes. Oh, then I didn't say anything. <laughs> yes. I, I like I like your recruiter face, Andrea. <laughs> Most of the recruiters are like this. <laughs> All right, keep it up, keep it up. You got four minutes. Mm -hmm. And that how this movement is made. Okay, that's very good. So, what do you expect? Uh, what do, What do you expect uh, if we hire you? Well, I expect the company uh, can uh, take my performance and see that I'm capable of do this work of and the get recognition for that. What? Capable of doing. Oh, capable of doing. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's pretty good. So, do you have problems of schedule? No, not really. Are you able to work even on weekends? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm not used to work in, okay. in, in weekends, it? but I can make it if you need it. I think that's nice to hear you. So why should I hire you? Well, I know that I'm capable of doing my work and I know that I'm going to do what's needed to finish the job. Even if that takes uh, more time for me, but I'm happy to do it if the client is happy with the ending result. Okay, okay that's pretty good. How much do you expect to win? Or how much do you expect to earn? Earn, uh-huh. You can ask, what is your salary expectations? Oh, okay. expectation. What is your salary expectation? Well, taking the count of my salary in my actual job, my salary expectation, I don't know you, my current, current job. 
for it, yeah. Uh, it's $1,000. This is because I have been working with them for almost three years. Okay, that's uh, very good. But let me tell you, if he, we decide to hire you, we can, we can pay you $800. But if but you can get more than $1,000 in six months, but it, it depends on your job okay. and on your work. That's... Are you agree with those uh, policies of the company? Yeah, it works for me. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay, that's very nice to hear you because uh, when we get to this point, not many people are agree with uh, these uh, policies of the company. But uh, just, I can say that we have a good ending here. So we call you back, I guess, in uh, two, one or two days. Just be a little, just be aware of your phone and we'll contact you. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thanks to you. Next time, Alison, ask for fifteen hundred, so they offer you twelve hundred. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I, I asked for one thousand because I knew that they are not going to offer me that much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smart move. All right, guys. Let's go back. Great job. Okay. So, are we still here or what? <laughs> okay, guys. So, let's go ahead and take attendance for the people missing previously. Where are you, attendance? Okay, here it is. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera. Nope. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Here. Hey, thank you for coming, girl. Thank you for that. Um, let me see. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Cordova. Nope. Amy Rosa Meles Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. No. Nope. David Orlando Nerio. Not here. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. Thank you for making it happen, Marcela. Beatriz Adriana Martinez Merino. Not here. And last but not least, Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. No? Okay. So, guys, let's keep it rolling. Uh, remember, there's a lot of people who's going to participate, so try to keep it short around, what, a three-minute presentation as a group. Okay? So, guys, um, make sure you have a pen and paper ready. Okay, in order for you to ask some possible questions, remember, you always need to try to get yourself ready for job interviews. Oh, but I have, ha I have had this job for the past 25 years. Well, things happen. So get yourself ready, just in case. First group. Oh. How do you call when you when the companies say that you are too good for that position? More than qualified? Almost there. Over. Over, over, over qualified. qualified. So that's one of the excuses sometimes like, oh no, but you are overqualified. We cannot pay you that much. No worries, I can earn three hundred dollars a month. No, no, but we can <laughs> All right. So Celia, Daniel, Ernesto, you got Three minutes for the three of you to talk. Go for it, please. Um. <laughs> Come on, go for it. Three minutes. Where's my phone? Oh, give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get my phone. All right, I'm back. I was charging my phone, but now I have it and I have the timer ready. So Celia, Daniel, Ernesto, go for it. Three minutes, go. 
Okay. Uh, hi, Ernesto. I'm Celia. I'm going to be your interviewer. So you are applying for data analysis job, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Ernesto, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, Celia, my name is Ernesto Castillo. I am 22 years old and I graduated from Don Bosco University two years ago as a aeronautical maintenance technician. Since then, I have been uh, looking for a job related to my background and, my, of the, and the knowledge that I get in the university. Okay, so we can consider that this is your first job. This is your first time applying for a job. Yes, this is the first time I'm applying for you. Okay, great. Um, if we are talking about your weakness, your weakness, what will be your biggest weakness? All right, my biggest weakness maybe can be that it's sometimes difficult for me to wake up late, very in the morning, but I am working on that to solve it. I am trying to wake up and to put a lot of alarms and to be ready to wake up and go for the work. Okay, that's great. So the last one, why you consider we should hire you? And maybe because uh, apart from my knowledge, I also good at solving problems and team management. I mean, interpersonal skills is easy for me to relate with my partners um, and to solve problems. Also, I very focus on solving problems and that's for my strengths. Okay, that's right. So I think that your profile complete uh, all the requirements. So I'm going to send you the information to continue with the process. Ernest. So thank you so much for applying. All right. Okay. You got a job. You got a minute for the next one. Go, go, go. Make it happen. Go. Next. Okay. Uh, hi, Daniel. This is Celia. I'm your go, interviewer. Slowly, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> go, 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 hi, go. Daniel. This hi, is Celia. Celia. Okay, so I'm your interviewer, so we are going to start. You are also applying for data analysis job, right? Okay, that's right. Data analysis job. Okay. Okay, okay. My, name, my name is Daniel Canizales. Um, I, I have a, a 38 years old, and yeah. I just, uh, I just uh, terminate, terminate my, my college uh, uh, five months ago. And I'm looking for a new job for that analogist. Okay, great. Do you have any experience or something related with the job? And in this moment, uh, no. In this moment, no. But I, I think I, I, I came to to desarroll. I can develop. I can develop. I can develop in this area. Okay, great. So. As you don't have any experience related with the job, what you consider we should hire you? What are your um, your biggest strengths? Seconds. Okay, well, uh, uh, I I think I think uh, I contribute 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 a lot of to the company. I I am a. a a good person and okay. I, I Pause. Need to, okay, okay. Thank you. Sorry to stop you. Sorry to stop you because of time. Okay. So guys, okay. um, let me ask you something. This remember that they are all developing characters. Okay. This doesn't mean that this was the real Daniel or the real Ernesto. So I wanted to tell me the following. Would you hire Daniel? I'm gonna call you back. Would you hire Daniel? No, no me va a llamar, no me va a llamar. Okay. The most polite no. All right. Would you hire Ernesto? Yes. Yes. Hey, uh, guys, les estoy preguntando a todo el grupo. Me pueden decir sí en inglés, vea. No, yeah. o tal vez. That's it. Yes, no, maybe, why. Acuérdense que estamos evaluando el personaje, no a la persona. All right. So great. Great. I liked it. Uh, I wouldn't hire you, Daniel. I mean, but I'm sorry. Uh, and Edgardo, <laughs> Ernesto, Antonio, possibly. Okay. So, guys, uh, next one. Let's try to keep it under 1 minute 30. Pongan sus, sus chronometers. Set up the time. Right? So we can be on top of it. Aldo, Gladys, Karen, you have three minutes. Go, please. 
Okay, good morning. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Hello. Hello, Karen, are you there? No. <laughs> okay, take over, the next one, take over. Take over is a phrasal verb in order for you to continue doing something that someone else was doing. So take over, go, 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 so we can keep up with time. Gladys, Gladys would, you, uh, would, you, would you like to be the interviewer? Yeah, continue, Gladys. Yes, yes, I don't, okay. um, how, how did you know about this job opportunity? Um, actually, I didn't notice the opportunity. I just came because my mother is bothering me that I have to, to get a job. Okay, so are you really interested in get this job? Why are you applying? If... Uh, yeah, I'm interested in this. Why not? And do you have any experience? Uh, not really, but hmm, I can give a shot. I can give it a shot. Okay, um, and why did you study on college? I went to Universidad Tecnológica. I study about uh, systems engineer. System engineering. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that we should hire you for the community manager a job? Um, as I said, well, I don't have any idea about this job, so I'm applying there by the reason that I gave you. So for me, it will be great. Okay, and uh, do, you, do you know something about, about us? about our company, something that you might like? Yeah, uh, I like the Cuatro Estaciones Pizza. Okay. Okay, so guys, pause, <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Would you hire Aldo? No. Um, definitely no. <laughs> definitely no. No, he no. don't want to. He doesn't want to, that's right. So guys, listen up. Good job. I know that, that this was out of what you practiced. So great job taking over. Remember, that's the expression, take over, to continue doing what something else was doing. So I have a timer right here. Remember, it's 1 minute 34 for each, so you can keep up the, the time. Juan Carlos, Roxana, Sara, go, three minutes. Good evening. I have your resume. resume? I have your, your resume here. And uh, I'm going to ask you something. Uh, Roxana, how are you? Fine, thanks. Fine. I can know that you are smiling. <laughs> and, yeah. I, and, I really, and I feel really good with that. Uh, um, I want to ask you about some tools that you're going to, to, to use. Uh, do you know something about Google Analytics? Yes, that is my specialist. I graduate from that and in my experience all almost is in that specific tools. <laughs> yes, I can read something about that in you. And how do you feel using Hootsuite? Oh great. Uh, I am work. I used to work with that too from the different social media. That's so great. I can, I can manage that. In your last work, uh, did you have some problem with uh, uh, some some problem with partner or with your or with the personal that you were managed? Managing. Managing. No, no, I am an uh, outgoing person. Uh, my relationships with my company is, is great, but it's a company that doesn't want to increase. So uh, that's why wow. I'm looking for 
doesn't want to grow. Time. So keep a look at the time, what? guys. One per, one person left. Yes, yes. Okay, that's it. That's, ah, okay. Uh, uh, do, do you, you feel comfortable with the person? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can note that. Call yes. <laughs> that okay. your answer is yes. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you, Roxana, and I'm going to call you later. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. 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 Miss you. Hi. How are you? I Fine. have the resume here too. Great. I want to ask you something about that because I can know that you can manage many tools about analyst system. Uh, what is your expectation salary? Salary expectation. Uh, salary for my salary expectation, it's no more of 1000 per month, but depends on uh, need uh, what uh, what the world because uh, maybe I work in home or need to uh, stay in the in the enterprise. I going to call you <laughs> later. <laughs> nice to meet okay. you. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Hey guys, uh, listen up. I'm gonna need to for to some of you. This is gonna be a, a relief. It's gonna be good news. Um, to some, it's not. I have to cut it down because we have the session. I, I forgot. Normally we stay a couple of more minutes late, but right now we can't. So my apologies for that. I know you really wanted to participate in front of everybody. The so, world is uh, fine. Double check, Mori. <laughs> Morena, 10 to 10, 10. All right, Allison, yes. Celia, Karen, and Sarah. The schedule is in the group. You ask me your questions and uh, you log out of this session and you log in to the private session. So guys, it's always a pleasure being with you. Thank you very much. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye.